Hi everyone. It's so sad that we can't all be together um, in the same room, meeting old friends and meeting new friends and learning so much more about the plight of rhinos in Africa and how difficult it is to conserve this ever dwindling species. But here we are, COVID-19 has changed everything, um, not least really important events like these. Um, but today, uh, from my garden in uh, the coast of East Africa in Kenya, um, it gives me great pleasure to give you a little insight of the process of my next two paintings that I will be mostly donating to Helping Rhinos and Olpegeta to help them with the really important work that they do. Originally, I'd planned to paint this very special mother and daughter on the same canvas, but so rare and important each individual was, I decided to paint a standalone portrait of each rhino in their own right. I started with Fatu, Najin's daughter and the late Sudan's granddaughter. I'd only just begun the painting of Fatu when well-known rhino ranger James Mwende who incidentally will be speaking to us on the night from Old Pegeta, showed me a video he had taken of the girls in their rhino paddock. The clouds had just burst with long-awaited rain, and their rain-splattered bodies and unusual energy and excitement inspired me to revisit a technique I'd developed nearly two decades earlier. I hoped that the method would enable the portraits to take on a museum quality, a status that an almost extinct species deserves. I wanted them to look archaic, precious, irreplaceable, because all throughout the progress of the paintings, I was constantly thinking about and praying that the science that was going on in the background would stay their imminent extinction and save this ancient land. As the artist of these two paintings, um, it would be my wish that they could sell to the same bidder. Um, Najin and Fatu have always been together and it seems fitting that the canvases should hang together. Um, but this might, may not be possible on the night, so um, more than anything, I just would really like them to make enough money to make a difference where it's needed. Thank you very much.